Face Ring World has so many uh, dimensions to her work, which is why we felt that it's absolutely urgent to do a retrospective of uh, her work. So she grew up um, in, in Harlem in the 1930s. It was the moment of the Depression. So then studied art and uh, really early on uh, was inspired by, by Picasso as well. Guernica was a very important painting for her and that she was interested in this idea also of art and politics and also the artist as a very public art. She from the very beginning wanted um, to do art for everyone. She has um, not only 50 years of work, but so many different aspects to her work. She's well known for her paintings, um, her quilts, um, alongside her activism within the civil rights movements during the 60s and also through um, her involvement in the women's movement as well through feminism. Um, she's also well known to millions of children for her incredible output of over 23 very award-winning uh, children's books, including Tar Beach, which we have in, in our exhibition. When it was hot in Harlem, we went up on the roof. And that was because there was no air conditioning in the 30s. So in order to cool off in a hot summer, we went up on the roof the Tar Beach roof. My mother and father and, and, and their friends would sit at the table and play cards and so on. And we would lay down and look up at the sky. You know, that might have had something to do with my becoming an artist because we could not run and play on the roof. So we had to kind of lay there and look up at the stars and the other rooftops and so on. It was a time for memory and thought. It's a beautiful time in our lives. So in, in 1963, Faith began making her most kind of mature body of work to date. And she really wanted to start expressing her experience of her, herself as an African-American woman living in, uh, in New York. Most artists were deterred from telling the story of what African-Americans would were dealing with in those days. It was not a, a good picture of America. And if they showed that story, um, they would not be uh, shown. Their work would not be seen. So they didn't do it, I guess. I did. Black Power was a huge event when I heard it on the, on the, uh, the television. Uh, Stokely Kime Michael yelled out, Black Power, Black Power. I said, Black Power? What, what is he talking about? We, we don't have any power. He was making that up. <laughs> but it caught on, and everybody was yelling, Black Power. Because we were only 10% of the population in America. So how do you get any power from being 10%? Well, you get power from having all 10 of those percents, I guess, speak up, speak up. So that's been my life, actually. Working, working, working until I get it done. And now I'm having this fantastic show here. Anyone can fly. All you gotta do is try. That's it. <laughs>